Midsummer Night by Gregory Rogers, words by Jeremiah Schmidt. Once upon a time there was a bird named Jack. Jack was on a boat, enjoying his afternoon nap until a fish jumped up and woke him up. He yawned and fell back to sleep. Then Jack hit the bank of a river and immediately woke up, startled by the sudden movements of the boat. Very carefully, he stepped onto the land, which has never been stepped on by human or animal. Jack slowly made his way to the forest. As he walked, he realized that he was famished. He saw a bee and followed it to his hive. He stole the honey, but the bees chased him through the forest. Jack continued running through the forest until he came up to a door. Little did he know he was running into a different dimension. When he came out the other side, he looked everywhere, but he doesn't. But he didn't know where he was. He saw giant mushrooms, giant leaves, and trees. He also saw a bird. To the bird, he looked like a baby bird. The bird swooped down and grabbed Jack. He was very surprised when he heard the annoying chirping of the baby bird and tried to escape. The bird saw him and chased him through the nest and slowly out of the nest. Jack was yelling for help. No one came. Right as he was about to hit the ground, a fairy named Molly flew down and grabbed Jack by his little cloth feet. When they got to the ground, Jack thanked the weird being. He called He called his giant bluebird and told him to take them to the castle of the captive king and queen. As they flew through the forest, Jack was amazed with the sight that he saw. He saw fairies, houses built in trees, and animals running around on the forest floor. When they got to the castle, Jack asked where they were. Mowgli replied, this is the palace of King Frederick the 250. They both knocked on the door. Annoyed, the other king, King Victor, the one who stole the palace, answered the door. Surprised by the sight, he let the visitors in his house. As he was showing them around, he asked, what are your names? Jack and Mowgli replied, Jack and Mowgli, they replied, I'll give you a tour if you like. Yes, please, they said in delight. Little did they know it was a trap. As Victor was showing them the throne room, he had soldiers that were a little on the fat side guarded him. As they saw his stolen riches on the ground, they picked him up and examined them. Victor was so was furious, so furious he wanted them dead. But instead of execution, he surrounded them with his soldiers and ushered them to the dreaded prison. When they finally got to the prison, they saw thousands of prisoners, including some that looked royal. As soon as they met the king, queen, jester, and servants, they made a plan to stand by each other to scare the guard. When they did do it, the guard ran away and didn't think of closing the door, so they ran out. They carefully walked through the halls, watching for guards. They made their way through the throne room. As they busted through the door, they saw Victor stealing all the money in the palace. They were ready for a fight. They both said fight and charged at one another. Jack realized he had no weapon, and he asked Moby for a sword. While Jack was fighting, Victor challenged him. The fight non-stopped until Victor slipped and Jack fell on him. After they finished World War III, the king demanded that Victor be put in prison for his horrible deeds. That Victor should be put in prison for life. The next day, the king held a big party for Jack, and they all ate cake, cupcakes, and cookies. The fairies gave Jack a big goodbye. Jack said goodbye and hugged Moby. As Jack walked away, he was amazed at his actions.